In the spotlight this morning, a Rhode Island icon, the beautiful Newport Bridge is celebrating 50 years now. A vital link between Newport and Jamestown. PBS Rhode Island is uh, sharing its history in honor of the milestone. We're here to tell us more about the documentary, our co-producers, Jamie McGuire and Michelle Abbott. Folks, thanks so much for coming oh, in. Well, Thank you for having me. Jamie used to work here at WPRI 12, and it's like coming home, so we're glad to have you back. Thanks. It's been like 25 <laughs> years since I've been in this building, but awesome. <laughs> so, so, folks, I was, I was saying, Michelle, I was telling Jamie before, that I was watching it last weekend and I was watching the documentary and I know it's been out it has been out for a while it has it is so well done so congratulations to well, both thank you, you. It was a lot of hard work such, such a beautiful piece tell us about what the process was like on first of all getting the approval and then going through it and what you learned about the bridge well I'm an army um, military brat so I spent a lot of time going back and forth over the bridge and I recently lost my mom so we would go over constantly to go over to the uh, military hospital mm -hmm. And I used to take little videos. So it's just ironic that it winds up being a project, a project that both of us wind up doing. Um, the process itself, long, <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun because there's, it was an emotionally charged, a lot of emotionally charged interviews. And to see the emotions come out of each person as they told their stories, there is, there is absolutely no words for that. And I would do it again. For, for many Rhode Islands, myself included, obviously it was 50 years ago, but many don't remember life before the bridge, which is crazy. I know. Yeah, so it was a ferry that would take folks back and forth yes, before, right? Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It was a ferry that took people back and forth. They go to Jamestown. They had to go by according to the schedule. Sometimes some people would make it over. Sometimes <laughs> they wouldn't make it over. They wind up missing the ferry right. and even more so coming back. So right. you wind up having to find some place to stay while uh, you were on in Newport. I know you shot a lot of the video, Jamie. The video itself is is incredibly, uh, incredibly well shot and just beautiful. What was that process like getting out on the bridge, shooting the bridge, mm -hmm. seeing that bridge change over the seasons as well? Well, I have to give a lot of credit to, to Dewey Raposo, who is our chief photographer for the film, um, who did an amazing job. Um, I supplemented as able, mm -hmm. but seeing um, the bridge uh, both inside and out um, and the changes over the season, it, it really, it, I, I feel much more humbled. You know, I've driven over that bridge a million times. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, um, and, you know, I, I used to call my dad from, from the bridge, be, hey, dad, I'm on the bridge, you know, <laughs> or I'd send him a, you know, well, when I could call, but, you know, or I'd call him, you know, later, I'd say, oh, I was on the bridge, I was thinking of you. Um, and then to, you know, sort of be on top of the bridge and be able to, Call them and say, "Hey, I'm on top of the yeah. bridge." I mean, just um, look at that video. That is just woof. Like, yeah, crazy. that was. Yes. Yeah, that was. That was something. <laughs> Did you question what you were doing? There? Um, you know, I'll tell you the story uh, about the f the first day. We we Dewey and I went to actually film. Um, the median being moved. Mm -hmm. All right, and then they said, "Well, do you want to get a shot of it from above?" And I was like, "Well, what do you mean?" And he was like, "Well, do you want to do you want to go up?" And we were like, uh, I said, Dewey, uh, do you want to go up? And he was like, uh, I could go up. And I was like, I could go up. So we, we went up yeah. and, uh, and we looked down and we were like, wow. Yeah. And we went up two more times after that. Wow. Um, two times inside the tower with the elevator and the ladders, which is intense. And then one time with the cable, right. all the way to the top and then all the way down to the anchorage. Wow, it's incredible. Up. Now, um, Michelle, you folks also brought back a lot of the, the men and women who built this. What was that like? Uh, amazing. Um, at one point, you wind up getting overwhelmed, but there's because there's so many stories, mm -hmm. um, and RITBA had a large part to do with that as well because they put out a press release. So they were putting out this press release just to let people know that the bridge was happening, uh, the anniversary was happening, mm -hmm. but also that there was going to be a lot of festivities around it. So with that happening, there were a lot of people that were saying, "Hey, you know, I worked on this bridge," and then they started filtering t them towards yeah. us, and then it just wind up blossoming into what it did blossoming into. Well, it was so well done. Thank you so much, bo both of you, for coming in Thank and all of the hard work and also the, uh, the great work Rhode Island PBS does for everybody as well. Thank I really you. enjoyed it. Now, you can watch the documentary yourself. You can catch it on Rhode Island PBS.